Hi there, Keith from the Ash and Fly Shop. Uh, salmon fly season, river's blown out. We can't fish really for steelhead or do anything else. So we're kind of thinking about the next thing coming up, which is salmon flies here. Uh, got a pattern that I've been tying for three or four years. Works really well. I like it. Foam body, um, lots of deer hair. Looks kind of buggy. Pisses the fish off and they eat it. So here we go. First thing you need, orange foam and a Sharpie. Take your Sharpie, just start coloring. Don't have to get crazy. That's enough right there, that'll do it. So then what I do is I will cut this lengthways into little strips, just about that thick. Size four, 200 R's. All of my dry fly stone flies pretty much are tied on this. A lot of my, a lot of my October caddis are tied on that same fly, and just smaller sizes. All right, same hook, not fly, smaller sizes. Just black thread. If you're choosing, I wouldn't do a really big black thread. Um, I usually tie with six or eight aught for everything, but you can use a little thicker thread so you're not breaking it when you get to the deer here. Just come in, you start this foam. The most important part here is that you get the black side up. Let's get that right in there. There we go. Black side up. Come on up pretty far. Get it nice and tied down like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this foam up, but we don't want it really, really tight, otherwise you lose kind of some of the air in there holding it. You just wanna get it wrapped around. And you know, kind of give you this variegated look as you do it. That's why you don't buy just solid colored foam. Cut that off. Tie that down real good. You know, you can see there's, as I'm squeezing it, it's still got a little bit of squish to it. That's gonna hold it up in the water a little bit more. Now comes the tricky part, we're gonna hide it. Just uh, non-bleached deer hair. You could use elk if you wanted. Um, I use the deer just because it's what I had. So grab a little bit off there. Helps to have something to get rid of all your, your fluffs in so it's not all over the place. Set it in your stacker. After I stack it, I'm gonna clean it again. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut this kind of at an angle here. Not a big one, but just enough. So it kind of looks like that. I am not going to let go of this till I'm done. That's the trick here. Otherwise you'll spin it. You're just going to try and hold it up on top of this fly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around a few times and I'm notice I'm pulling up, not down or over. Every time I'm tightening, I'm tightening up. And then I'm just going to Get a bunch of wraps on there just to hold this in real good. Get it nice and tight. And you see I'm still holding on to that. Don't want it to spin. There we go. Poly yarn. What I do is I take and cut off a couple of inches of it. I don't really need a lot of this, but I'm going to split it so it's not so thick. Otherwise, you're going to make this big, thick body on there. Tie that in. Get it started. Get all the way back here. Now I'm going to turn that so I can split these wings. 
just trying to make them even there. This is going to do two things. It's going to hold the wings out, but it's also going to hold that deer hair in when, they, when the fish are biting on it for making it kind of flop. So let's get that out of the way. Just figure eights. Kind of tightening up as you go around. Follow up with your thread just to tie it off. You know, when you get stragglers in here, don't worry too much because the buggier this fly is, the better. You know, if you get a couple little deer hairs out of place or things kind of moving around, the whole idea is that this fly is going to walk around on the water upstream, and then as you get downstream, it'll end up skittering and skating across the water for you. You probably got some of that hanging out. I like the red, just a regular old rooster. Um, you can use black if you want, just to darken it up, clean up your end. And I'm gonna use most of this here. Turn that back. Turn that get off there. Right up to there, good and tight. Now we are gonna just wrap and wrap. You know, we're gonna be trying to get this fly to skate, so we want a good amount of hackle in this. I also like this because you don't really have to use a, a liquid floating with it too much because you got the foam and all this deer hair. You could just use your dry shake every so often. I'm going to save this for another little dry fly later. All right, we're almost done. Pretty simple. One more little step. Let's get some thread up on this. Just so uh, I get some thread up in there. One more little shot of deer hair for the front of it. Yeah, that looks about right. Clean it. Stack it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Stranglers. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one forward and I'm going to hold on to this side right here and I'm not going to let it go. Same thing, sizing it up to where I want it, come around right in there lurks. What I'm going to do is get all those back on top of the fly. And then I am going to keep pulling straight up when I tie. But I'm still not going to let go of that, that back end of that stuff until I'm where I want to be. Now I'm going to sneak my scissor in there. Cut that off. What it's going to do, it kind of acts like a little shuck on the back. Looks, you know, But it's going to hold air as you're casting this thing around. It's just going to kind of capture a bunch of air in there. And then I'm just going to come up in here, build a little head. Put a couple of half hitches in there. Glue that down. While that glue is wet, put a couple more half hitches in there. I could use a whip finisher or something like that, but I just don't. Cut it off, take an extra little piece of hackle or something. Clean out my eye, just in case I got any glue in there. Hit it with the light. That's it. That's your new salmon fly. 
All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you tie a bunch of them. Oh, if you don't want to tie this fly and you still want some, we do have them in the shop. So the only place you can get them unless you tie them yourself. So they are here. Come get them.